Okay, so today we're going to talk about passive mode on Windows Defender. So there's a lot of ways of turning Windows Defender off and um, just going to run through, you know, quickly, you know, how to tell when your antivirus, which is Windows Defender, is running in passive mode. So currently we have Defender disabled, so we can turn that back on by using the following command and let's see make sure that's on so it's back on so these two commands right here um, get set set MP preference disable real-time monitoring true and false will turn defender off and on you can also turn defender off by using a local group policy so if you go to GP edit and then you go to see yeah, administrative tools then Windows component then you scroll all the way down to Windows Defender antivirus right here and then here's the policy that you can double click and you can enable that policy to turn Windows Defender off but today we're going to talk about passive mode which is passive mode is basic passive mode is when Windows Defender goes into a passive state when you're using a third-party antivirus, which is right here. I have AVG free version. So I'm just going to install this just to show you that Windows Defender will go, go into passive mode and how you know it's, it's in passive mode. So if we go to our PowerShell command right here, um, get, MP get MP computer status. And if we hit that, then we'll show uh, real-time protection enabled. And that's true. So Windows Defender is currently running as normal. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna run our AVG installation. This should be quick, so I'm not gonna pause the video. So we're gonna go ahead and install that. It might ask me for a reboot, but just let's see. And I'm doing all this right now from a, uh, a Hyper-V machine with Windows 10 Pro installed. So our installation is almost complete here. And now once this is done, you'll see some notifications possibly from Windows Defender. All right, that went away. Let's wait for it to pop up. Okay, so AVG should now be installed. There we go. Continue, it's asking me to run the first scan, but I'm not gonna do that. Then we go here, we can see it's protected. Now, if we go back to our command right here, we're gonna do up arrow, and this is our get MP computer status. So we hit that. Now you see real-time protection is false. So now Windows Defender is running, but it's running in passive mode, which is basically saying it's in the background and it's letting AVG take control over real-time protection. And it's no Windows Defender is no longer um, controlling real-time protection. So that's the way of um, getting Windows Defender to go into passive mode. And sometimes if you disable, if you disable, let's say disable in, AVG, it will turn the real-time protection back on right here, turn on protection. And let's see if it shows up here. Sometimes I think you have to uninstall it first. Yeah, so you have to remove the third-party antivirus. And then once you remove that, Windows Defender will go back into, you know, doing its own thing. 
So now, as I say, it's currently running in passive mode. And we're now up to five minutes with our video. And I think that's it. So there you go, guys. That's how to get Windows Defender to run in passive mode, which is just go ahead and install a third party antivirus solution. And the following will tell you, the following command will tell you whether or not real time protection is on or off. Thank you for watching.